Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, oh, what is it, Tuesday, May 29th. This is for all signs, daily vibes. Tuesday, May 29th. Now, keep in mind that this timing is fluid. The energy is fluid. We're all at different spots, you know, on our journey. So, this may have happened, may be happening, um, could be in the future, or it may not resonate with you at all because, you know, that's sometimes that happens. Tuesday. Hope you all had a nice holiday. Holding on, resisting, resisting change, obsessed. Somebody is obsessed or very um, possessive. Same kind of thing, huh? Possessive about something. Oh. You have to make a decision. Okay, somebody is confused. They have some choices. You have to make a choice. And the thing is, is what is going to make you happy? Okay, that's when, when you're making this decision that you need to make. Is this really what's going to make you happy? I mean, that's the question. Before you make this decision, whatever it is, somebody is about to make a decision or they have to make a choice. And it's a difficult one, okay? Um, somebody is feeling maybe even a financial loss or feeling like they're going nowhere. Um, there's somebody hasn't planned sufficiently. They haven't, they haven't made uh, a solid plan. So they're holding on to what they have because they have no future planned. I mean, come on now. Somebody hasn't planned their, their goals. They don't have any goals for the future. I mean, that's what it looks like right now. You have to really think about your future. There's a decision in front of you. There's, there is. There's a choice that you need to make. You're really going to have to consider your future on this, whatever this decision is. How is this going to affect your future? Have you thought about it? Have you come up with any goals? Have you come up with the plans? Somebody is kind of like refusing to let go of something Staying doesn't want to make this change. There's a change that is needed that would make you happy, but you're so afraid of losing money or losing assets or if this is the right decision. That's what this is. Somebody has to make a decision and, and they could lose money by making or assets or home or something tangible even. There could be a loss. There is going to be a loss. Okay, there's going to be a loss. So somebody is holding on to something that they shouldn't be holding on to. It's not making them happy. It's not going to make you happy in the long run. Okay, it's not. But, you know, it's money, right? And money talks. And money rules the world, right? Money rules the world. Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot of money. Money here. Money rules the world. So that's somebody is living in an illusion, choosing money. Okay, this is a card of, you know... Do you choose the assets? Do you choose the things? Or do you truly choose what makes you happy? Do you choose love? Yeah, somebody is, it's a love or money decision here. Um, they're not in a situation that is emotionally fulfilling, whether this is at work or this is at home. But it is financially stable. It feels, I mean, yeah, the money's good, right? Or at least I know I have the money here, so I'll stay right here. Anyway, something like that. But um, let me just make sure this is viewable. I'm, I am going to have another setup here soon in another room. Um, so whatever's happening, there's a, somebody's trying to resist this change that is meant to happen, okay? You've evolved. You're not the same person. This is all coming up because you need to make a, a, the, the right decision, okay? I feel like you have skills for whatever this new offering that is coming, whatever it is, you have the skills. You may have to relearn some skills, some new skills. Um, 
but you have the ability to succeed whatever this is there's success and there's victory but you're going to have to let go of where you're at right now and that's kind of where it's secure and stable it's secure and stable right here but it's not emotionally fulfilling so the fact of the matter is you have to stand up for what you want in life and you have to really choose wisely. Is this going to fulfill you emotionally or is this just financial gain? What's more important to you? Emotional contentment or financial gain? Okay, so, you know, that's difficult, huh? Both, right? Anyway, this one right here is the card I was just talking about, Seven of Cups. What do you choose? I mean, are you spending too much time at work? There's so many scenarios here. Are you spending too much time at work neglecting the ones you love? That could be one scenario. Are you working so hard to build your bank account that you aren't giving your partner love? That could be, you know, whatever. Are you working to get all these toys and not paying attention to the family? I mean, this could be so many. This is love or money. Is it really that important? Uh, basically, I mean, that's what I, I just have to say. I mean, that, that's a pretty good message here. Somebody feels like money is the only thing that will bring them happiness, and that is an illusion. So, just saying, just saying, okay? So somebody is f is fearing financial loss. I mean, the two of pentacles reversed is fearing financial loss. So they're holding on tightly to what feels stable and secure, but it isn't happy, okay? Whatever whatever so what you have to do is you have to get creative you have the skills some of you to even start your own business okay you have the skills it's about being confident it's about having courage it's about having discipline you ha somebody has the creativity and the skills to become a natural born leader should they put effort into into standing up for themselves and doing what's right for them defend their own beliefs defend themselves end the end the last phase end the chapter that's not working out okay this is the world card it's a major new beginning it's right in front of you you've learned something big you've learned a lot through whatever this is you're holding on to but it really doesn't serve you anymore it's like you've evolved you're not even the same person it's not about the money anymore it's about being happy it's not about proving yourself. It's about being happy. So I think today is a day of trying to make that difficult decision. You're confused. Are you confused? And if you say, no, I'm not confused, sit back and think about it for a minute. Are you? What's most important to you? Money, your job, your car, your house, everything, but your love? I mean, that's a question of the day. So I feel like somebody needs to definitely stop resisting the changes that are happening, okay? Whatever is happening is trying to make you happy, believe it or not, and you're trying to resist this happiness. And I, f I feel like uh, it's time for you to put yourself on top, okay? Put yourself back up there, your own needs, your own emotional needs. Somebody has lost their focus and their concentration and their momentum in life. Their focus is so much on everything but love. That, I mean, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. Just, anyway, step back and think about this for a minute, okay? Today's reading is about choosing wisely. You're about to start a new chapter with the world card. A new chapter in life is right ahead of you. The world card is a long-term chapter. You have just ended a long-term chapter in your life. Something long-term that was... uh or it doesn't have to be long term as much as it influential. Very, very, very influential. Something that had a big impact on your life. Something usually long term. Usually. Something that impacted your life in a very big way is ending so that you can begin a new phase. 
Anyway, so I feel like today is a day of getting creative. In regards to preparing for your new chapter, okay? It's about being happy. It's not be about being rich. And I know people think that money buys happiness or money is all happiness. But if you're, if you're alone, yeah, I'm, I can't believe alone or with people that don't really love you. Be they just love your money. I mean, come on now, is that true happiness? No. True love is happiness. Yeah, money is is uh, short term happiness. And you, I mean, we sure nobody wants. Well, some people may, but want somebody just to love us for our money. I mean, this could play out in so many different ways. Do you really know? The question of the day is: Choose wisely. Are you choosing wisely? Anyway, talk to you later.